Hi and welcome to Messy Films Production. I'm the Alex Messi and I'll be your host for tonight. As you last saw last month, we had the cast of For Money I Love kind of telling you how it feels to be an actor, to be on set, and what does it feel like to hear quiet on the set and action. So let's keep going with this wonderful interview. I hope you enjoy it. Hi and welcome back. Last show we had the cast of For Money and Love and thankfully enough we still have them with us. So we're still going to talk about what it is it like to hear those words, action, what does it feel to be on a set and all that good stuff that I know you guys want to know. Alright guys, tell me um, how it felt to have to memorize a whole script. How, how, how's the pressure? How did each of you learn your scripts? Okay, man with the most lines. Uh, I was going to say, <laughs> you want me to take this one? Um, and you're the main character, well, so. For me, it was a little tricky because I started off with a small part in terms of lines, but it was still a big part. But then I got bumped up to the main character. So I went from three or four lines to every page. <laughs> um, it was a little, little nerve-wracking at first because it's, it's a lot. And I, I knew I'd have to step it up because when you're when you're the lead, it's it's your job to kind of raise everybody else up. So yes. I had I I read through it um, whenever we would rehearse it. That's that was when I'd really get a feel for the lines themselves, because it's it's one thing in my opinion to read it. I can read it over and over, but it'll never really sink in until I actually am acting with it. Because once I act with it, then I have, I have a place in my head that I can figure out, okay, this is how Patrick would see this. This is how he would react. And then I also get a feel for, okay, I need to be position myself here or there. And, and then I also, once you rehearse it, you know the other person. So you know how, you, how to feed off of that other person, which is huge. Yeah, that's yeah. so true. I took a lot of time with the script. And, you know, I have a method where I'll memorize a couple of pages depending on the length of, of you know, each of the scenes. And, um, and then I'll go back and, you know, the next day I'll go through those and then keep adding on to it and then go back to the beginning and, and keep building that way. But my lines really don't stick until we're rehearsing them. I don't care how many times I run lines by myself, but when I'm in rehearsals with the other characters and we start really fleshing out the characters you know because the script is really the skeleton of who they are mm -hmm. when we start putting the flesh onto them through our interactions through our inflections the way that we react to one another you know it's that back and forth between the two characters that really make the script start to stick to my memory and um, and you know fortunately we have an awesome director who <laughs> Who allows Somebody us a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who allows us a little bit of liberty with the script. We of course have to stay with the objective of the script and that, but there are some directors where every single word must be as it's written in yeah. the script. And you know, I really appreciated um, as an actor artist, I really appreciated um, that you gave me a little bit of you know cushion room with the script so that I could really make it crystals and I could really um, honestly react to what the other actor was giving given me. So, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you guys like that. I think just from a mechanical standpoint, uh, it's a process and it's a focus and it's a discipline. If you think back to when you were in school, whether it's high school or college, when you had to study for a test, you focused on that chapter and you memorized what you thought were going to be the key facts that the professor was going to have on the test and so on. And to a certain extent, some of us would have been out of school for a while. We've gotten out of that habit. Yes. But I was surprised that once I started having to memorize that I got back into that habit. The other thing that I use that helps me tremendously is that I've got a small digital recorder and I will record the person's line in front of me and then I'll leave a space about the same length as what I'm going to speak. I'll then say that, I'll, I'll then say my line and then I'll say the next line. And so what will happen is if I'm driving somewhere, then I put in the earplugs and I'll just literally by rote, uh, I'll hear the line in front of mine, I'll mouth, I'll say that line and then I get to hear myself saying the line to see how well I did. But 
At the same time, I also agree with Michelle. That's just the rote mechanical aspect of sort of how I pound into my brain. But good mm -hmm. technique to pound But mm -hmm. once you actually get on the set, then it is the chemistry, it is the reaction, it is the timing, and that's something you really can't do until you're in rehearsals. But then you kind of get that feeling, and in the case of uh, the folks that I got to act with here, the, the thing that was a real luxury for me was, and we also had the, the luxury that you did allow us a little freedom to not do it exactly word for word. And you, when you first get on a set, if you don't know that director, you quickly have to determine, is that director going to allow you to wander a little bit from the script or does it have to be exactly word for word? Mm -hmm. And if you want to talk about sort of the organic acting, I think the best things that I did with Michelle, for example, was where the two of us weren't quite exactly on script, but we were keeping the moment to moment and the objective mm -hmm. in mind. And I think that made for a better performance, or will make for a better performance when it finally gets on the screen. And not every director allows that. Keep That's that absolutely mind. right. Don't cross the line. And you have to determine that quickly because you don't yeah. want to get the director mad at you. So you mm -hmm. need to. That's one of the things when you're on set, you need to quickly say, what kind of a director is this? But you can tell that in rehearsals. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys have all said rehearsal. And Gunara has had a chance to tell us how she lo learns her lines. But mm -hmm. rehearsal, most um, production company don't have rehearsal. You get to set and boom. Messy Films Production does have rehearsal, about a year and a half rehearsal for each production that we do. That way, the actors are prepared to do what they have to do. Do you prefer that, or do you just prefer getting there and what do you think about rehearsal? I prefer rehearsals, for sure. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I think when we get on set, you know, if we hadn't had rehearsals, you know, what Adam was saying about being able to cut and go back and redo and get direction and all of that, you know, that's all fine, but I, there's something about doing the rehearsals that allowed us to really build relationships and it goes back to what I was saying about putting flesh on the characters. It really allowed me a lot of time with Crystal and I was able to really fully develop her character and I think the performance will show that th the difference between a rehearsed character you know and and something that's just sort of thrown in there and um, it just sounds a lot of year I mean time rehearsing but we really didn't overdo it no and I guess I can also answer that question and um, learning stuff to think together because I've been on production from the start so at that time I got a chance to really learn my character so the way I do it is I read the whole script from the start and then I only memorize lines which will be filmed for the scenes the next day so uh, I literally would drive like you and memorize my lines at that time. But rehearsals, they give you a chance to actually try them out. Mm -hmm. So those two things combined, I had rehearsals before and then I already know my character so well that I don't even need to know, like I don't have to spend so much time memorizing lines because they come naturally. Once you know who you are as the character, they really come, that's what Jesse would say. So rehearsals help and just knowing your character. So one thing that, that the audience has learned from this is that all the people who are talking to themselves on the metro or in their car <laughs> are really just actors rehearsing their lives. Not always. <laughs> Not always, but I, I definitely am caught talking to myself, running my lines. Felix, I, I wanted to add a footnote, though. There is probably that fine balance between over-rehearsing. Yes. Uh, as opposed to just about the right amount. And I'm not sure there's an easy way to determine mm -hmm. what's the right amount. But if you over-rehearse, then you can lose some of that spontaneity and being what actors call being in the moment if it's over-rehearsed. So there is that fine line. And I, yeah. But I think that we did just fine. I think you had just sort of the right number of them so that we mm -hmm. weren't over-rehearsed. I think over the, the also because we could improvise, it made it kind of fresh every time. Right. Sure. So I think that's... One reason I never was like dull and like. Well, I, was, I was the king of improvising. <laughs> you were. Mostly you were. because I didn't always know what I was supposed to be doing, but <laughs> that happens. It does. I got yeah. caught up. But there was, in terms of rehearsals though, there are quite a few scenes, especially between Michelle and I, that we rehearsed completely different. And then when we actually shot it, it was a whole nother way. Yes. And if yeah. she and I hadn't rehearsed those scenes and gotten to know each other as well as we did, it, it wouldn't have worked. So just, just the, the chemistry alone just made, made those 
certain scenes work. When you see the film, yeah. you'll know exactly what yeah. we're talking I about. Say, I mean, there I, are just I scenes that are... I can't really are... say which scenes they are, but they yes. are they're fun ones. Now, right. dedication. When you're cast to be in a movie, does that mean you're going to film it right away? As a production, dates change, things change. You might be filming in a week, and then all of a sudden you need to wait a year. How do you guys, and it's the reality of it, how does it feel as an actor to have to commit to something for so long? It is difficult. It is difficult. And um, especially, and I guess with me, it's a perfect example because I committed to, to work on this production two years before we started the production, I think something around that time. Around there, yeah. Yeah, a year and a half. And then um, I got a chance to rehearse with some other people in the cast. And then we, we before we, I guess it all comes to them, if, as long as you're honest with your cast, with the crew, with the director, it, it helps a little bit. And it also depends on the relationship. So in my case, I couldn't stay with the production in the beginning, and then I had a chance to come back, thanks to you, which I'm really grateful for coming thank back. Thank you. Thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But uh, um, it, was, it is definitely just, for me, for example, it's really hard to commit for something for so long. Um, but it, again, it comes to what is the relationship with the director, and in our case, it was great. Now, waiting for you to film, like just waiting. Tell me, guys, about that because you know you might be a busy person, but you might have to sit down and wait. And it's not that they're not being considerate of you; it's just this is the business. How do you guys do when you have enough time in set that you have to just wait? What do you guys do to like not lose the moto, not lose your characters, and what do you guys do? Eat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm saying, no. There's, there's a lot of hurry up and wait, because like you had said earlier, the uh, just the fact of the production team has to get the cameras and the lights and sound and all that stuff set up, and and you as an actor might be ready to go, but you have to sit there and wait, or you have to sit in your mark so they can set everything up around you that they need, and you're just sitting there for the next 20, 30 minutes while they set everything up but there are also those times where somebody else is filming or somebody else is on screen and you're sitting around i personally just kind of sat back and watched because for me it was nice to be able to sit back and watch because i was always that guy i was always on the other side of the camera yeah. so so it was nice for me i always enjoyed that just being able to see everybody else do their thing yeah i love every facet of filmmaking so you know i would follow around the peppers and you know help them with lights and setting up sound and all of that sort of thing. It was really great. I had a great time. Um, you know, even just sitting with the other actors, you guys are lots of fun, great sense of humor, uh, love sharing stories with them. Um, and then of course it was an opportunity to go over those lines for those scenes that were coming up and that sort of thing. So I mean, there was a lot of waiting time, but I'm really just so grateful to have the opportunity and to be there on set and the energy, especially on a Mesty Films production, on set, it's um, the energy is always high. Everyone's always having a great time. You know, we've got I don't know how many taglines for you know like <laughs> jokes for this film. Um, Too many. Yeah, <laughs> it's <laughs> and a quick um, description. What will you tell an actor? And I want each of you to say something. Uh, not to do on set. Complain. Do not complain. It's really it's about keeping a very positive energy on set. So. Having high energy, um, you know, staying uh, in that positive energy moment. Um, the worst thing to do is to start complaining about things taking too long, or um, you know, something that's going on, or complain about another, whatever. Just keep keeping, it keep it positive. I'm, I'm going to put it in the positive. <laughs> Stay flexible. Yes. Keep your cell phone turned off completely. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one, Adam. Like she said, just don't complain. Just do your job, show up, and give everything you got. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, you have learned a lot. Do not complain because that brings the motto down for the whole production, and everybody's going to be looking at you. And you will not be hired again. It's just the way it works. Or you'll get fired. <laughs> <laughs> that, too. that, too. So, guys, if you're still an inspiring actor, do not give up. This is your dream, and you have to hear Quiet on the Set and... Action. Action. <laughs> Action. Have a good night. <laughs>